No, Mrs. Jenks. It's the third time he's been late this week. Not like you, eh, James? Never known little James to be late, have we, Harry? Now, James, I hate to have to tell you, but there's been another mix-up with the wholesalers. Anyway, James, what I've had to do is I've had to replace 30 telegraphs with the Times. And I'm afraid, James, it's on your round. They won't be happy about it. But what else can I do? If they don't like it, they can lump it. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all this, James. There's nothing you can do about it, is there? Oh, by the way, James, there's a few more today. It's the Jewish Chronicle. Harry's brought the bag down for you. It's there on the counter. What time is it? Martin? Oh, she in a bad mood. Guess what? She thinks she'll be angry. I just found loads of money. Where? Just on the street on Ashworth Road. How much? 485 quid. What? 485 quid. <laughs> She's going to be properly angry at you, man. I suggest you get on your knees and lick her feet or something. Yeah, I'd rather she... Don't tell no one. No, no, of course not. No, of course not. Thanks. Are you going to tell your mum? Mm, I'm thinking about it. No, I'll see you later, yeah. Where did you steal the money, James? I didn't steal it, I found it. So you're telling me you're sitting there with £230? I don't think you are. You have to remember. There is someone who is in the toilet. I don't like it, James. I don't like it at all. Can I keep the money, Mum? No, of course you can't. You are going to take it to the police station and they will deal with it. I'm not going to the Babylon with my money. No way. My son James has come here today because during his paper round he found some money, quite a lot of money in fact, wasn't it James? Yes, ma'am. 230 pounds to be precise. It's all there, you can count it. 230 pounds? Where did you steal the money James? He didn't steal it, he found it. You don't just find 230 pounds. Where did you steal the money? I told you, he didn't steal it, he found it. People don't leave £230 in a nice little pile on the pavement for the benefit of passing boys. Where's the wallet? It wasn't in the wallet. So is this all the money? Yes, that is all the money. So why have you brought the money here today? Because, young man, 
My son James is a decent Christian boy with decent Christian values. He brought this money here today because he knows there's a struggling old lady trying to survive because she lost her money in the street. And when she comes in here looking for it, you, young man, will give it back to her. Fine. Well, I'll put the money into lost property. And if no one claims it, it'll be yours in three months. I can't believe you just giving them all my money. It wasn't your money, James. It was my money. It wasn't their money, was it? And now they've stolen it. We're probably going to have some big party with my money. Was that all their money, James? James. Yeah? Happening soon last night? Yeah. Nice trainers. Does your mum know you got them? Yeah, but she doesn't know how much. Told her, especially off at Brent Cross. <laughs> Told her I'd be saving for my pay for round. <laughs> well, it's true. It's sort of true anyway. Will we be drinking out of the fat wedge again tonight? It's gone. What? I've spent it. All of it? Gone. All gone. You're mad, James. You're a madman. Yes, young man, what can I do for you? I've got a lost property ticket. Do you know what time it is? Doesn't say anything about time on a ticket. We don't do lost property till 9am. Well, I've got to go to school by then. Can you just tell me if he's still here? Here's the ticket. Honestly. What's wrong with you? It's 6.45. Where the bed, did you? I've got a paper round. Mm. Seems the early bird catches the worm. I just need your autograph there for me. What? Your signature. You need to sign your name there. Well, go on then. Take it. I won't bite you. <laughs> 